What's up, stream people? How are y'all today? We got the text blowing up right out the gate. I'm talking to Brian, my partner in crime at Spoke. Let's see what Brian's up to. Sweet. Cool text, bro. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I can't tell you what we're talking about, though. It's not purple axles, though. I can tell you that much. <clears throat> Good morning. How are y'all? Jet pens order shipped this morning. I had to buy the Kirby pencil for my kid. Threw in some washi and refills for me. Nice. She do a washi tape review where you just stick washi tape on things. So there you go. Everyone doing doing well this morning? I think I'm doing well. It's been busy. Got a lot of writing done yesterday. Need to change your text alert sound? Yeah, I need to have... I only, the only specific text alert sound I have is for my wife. Hers is different than everyone else's the same, so... Need to, I should probably uh, do that a little bit more. I put it on, uh, I put it on silent now because he's still texting me. Brian, are you still texting me? We're fired up today, chat. We're in a good mood. I'm trying to get some good shots of this Naganana Togi nib. I guess I need to take it over to my light, bu light box. I'm trying to get it here on the desk with like the uh, stream lights, <clears throat> but um, it's not working. It's not working, so I'm not happy with the lighting situation in here, so I'm going to have to go do some light box pictures when we're done today. But we got some fun boxings today, fun unboxings today. What's up, Miss G's? I'm glad y'all like these new emotes. They're so cute. They came out really, really good. I'm sorry it took so long, but it, it worked out well in the end, so very good. Lots of fun allergy stuff's going this morning. Yeah, we're waiting for the next big storm to hopefully wipe it out for, for good. We're fully green now, though. Like, the yard's green, the trees are green, the cherry blossoms have bloomed and gone away in, like, a flash. Uh, need Mary Beth to take the pics? Probably. She's way better. Uh, I just take iPhone pictures. She takes real people pictures, big people pictures. I just take kid pictures. So I just, I was trying to do it sitting here and the desk lighting as y'all, as I complained about yesterday is not great right now. So I haven't worked on the camera yet. Like it's fine. We just need some tweaks. We need some tweaks going into that. Hopefully my Kaveco green lily put nest iridescent pearl should be delivered today. I, did I tell y'all I got my, 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 um, my good lily put? Would any, any of this unboxing be added to the ice box? Um, that's a good question. I don't. I can't remember what's in the jet pins box. I think so. I think I have the um, <clears throat> um, some of the uh, Midori seventieth, whatever, some anniversary pins. Um, I got the. Um, I couldn't. They were sold out of the blocks tests. So the, the the Midori blocks, but I bought some of the notebooks. Those will go in there. Nice NLU hoodie. Yeah, this, I finally spent, I won a gift certificate for their pro shop. So uh, this is like one of the t-shirt hoodies. And I decided when I put it on and turn on the camera, I look like a monk. Um, but it's a nice uh, it's a nice thin hoodie, very comfortable. I'm, I waited till their spring collection dropped so I could get a, uh, so I could get some, spend my gift card. So <clears throat> we're doing that. All our trees are blooming right now, so I'm pretty miserable. Yeah, we're on the back side of that. Like I said, we need the one more thunderstorm to come through, and uh, then I think we should be past it. Should be past it. So, oh, what's that Pokemon in the back? That's a good story. Um, I got that in the mail yesterday. I went to my PO box, and there's this huge box in the mail. And, like I just have the little, this tiny standard PO box. So I had the key, right? I had the key to the magic box at the at the post office. So I um, opened it, and there's this big box. And I see the return address. I'm like, I'm not expecting anything. So in it was this Pokemon box here. And uh, I'll open this up in here in a second. It is a Lamy Safari limited edition Pokemon that I gave away a few, two years ago, three years ago, maybe at this point. And the person that won it said, you know what, Brad, I've never used this. It's really cool and it shouldn't sit here if I'm not going to use it. So... Um, they shipped it back to me. So now I have to decide what to do with it. And I think it might be a pretty cool display piece. You know, I could give it away again, but <laughs> I don't really like y'all that much. Um, <laughs> just kidding. I love y'all. So I'm not going to give it away right now. And I think I might use it as a display as I continue to like load up junk on top of this uh, ice box. So we're going to open it up here in a second. I don't know if the battery still works. So this actually makes a sound. Um, that, that was cool, right? Right, easily 5K. Yeah, it might even be like 10K right now on eBay. If Elon Musk decides to buy eBay, it's probably like 10K. 
uh, something like that. So yeah, it's uh, it's back. I'm gonna open it up and uh, we're gonna take a look at it here in a second. Yeah, the P.O. Box of Happiness, right? Um, all right, let's see what we got here. So Lamy did this for Japan or China. I can't remember where they did this. Maybe it says on the box. Oh, it's okay. Here, I'll show you. It says uh, Pokemon Asia on it. <clears throat> China. So yeah, Pokemon Asia. Right. It's got Pikachu and the Pokeball. It's got the Lamy Safari branding. Lamy's, Lamy's does a really good job with this stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. For sale in Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan only. It even says that on the box. Right here on the bottom line. For sale, Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan only. So, yeah, because folks went through Hong Kong. I remember we got two of them. I uh, got one from Mike. There's no chat follows. Okay, let me uh, fix that. I've been having to move around all kinds of stuff. So hang on one second. Thank you for letting me know. If you were that box, where would you be? Wow, it's literally the topmost thing. Here it is. It's there. I think you should see it now. Oh, on the main screen. Yeah, I moved around some stuff. Let me let me fix that right now. There it is. All right. My bad. I see what you're saying. Got it, got it, got it. All right. So this is the packaging that this Lamy came in. Still got the stick, the, the, uh, the peel, the peeler offer thing. Um, that's, that's just coming off. I don't care. Even if I give this away later, it's going to be open and whatever. I think you'll just have to deal with me taking that off because that I'm not going to allow that to happen. Um, so yeah, the box. So you have to give it a good push to open it up. There's a little protective, protective coating there. Things are falling around. So we have, what all do we have here? Um, so what it's designed to be is this Lamy Safari pen, right? So does it have a special nib? Nope. Ooh, it's an extra fine nib. Nice. Maybe I'll just use it. Um, and then these are like clip adornments, right? So you take these and they're designed to add to your clip. Right, so you can fully Pikachu out your pen and check this out. Little logo on the back. Black finial, black nib. So you can swap this out. So we got happy Pikachu there. So much better than berries and cream, right? That's not really fair, is it? Or we can put this, this one on here. Um, this one has uh, different one. This one goes in between the clips. I should just use it. I I will consider using it. It'd be great for pictures, right? Yeah, the little tail. Zip. So we got, how do we get this one in? So this one goes under the thing. In 25 sec, welcome to the stream as I figure out how to put this on and my wife prints something in the same room that I'm in while I'm streaming. Don't mind me. Just working. Oh, uh, this is cool. So like, Pikachu can be sleeping when you lay lay down, lay it down, right? So you can lay down the pen. So this is more of a uh, of a chill, chill, relax Pikachu when it's when it's down. So yeah, there you go. Safari Safari Clip is secretly a rail system. Can't wait for the red dot light. <laughs> the Pilot Silverns came out great, didn't they? Like. Not being a Pokemon fan, I would have bought one of those because they were really, really good. So yeah, they've really done a good job making these attachments for the clip. Um, then we have a Pokeball here. Let's see what's in here. Wow. I'm going to have to get out the scale, y'all, because I believe this is a pin holder. Oh, this is rad. Get out of town. 
What? What just happened? Oh my gosh. Sorry, Chad. I'm probably keeping this. I'm glad I didn't open this the first time I gave it away. It's so heavy. I'm going to get out the scale. So it's basically a paperweight. Brad just, yeah, I'll keep this. <laughs> Does it have a sticker on it? No sticker on it. I will throw it. I will get it. Check it out. The uh, I don't know if you can see this, but the uh, it's actually discolored a little bit. Uh, so it's a little yellowish. All right. How many grams is this? <laughs> 167 grams. <laughs> So there you go. Anyone home today? Yeah, my wife. You can't hear the printer going. So how much? I can't. It's almost six ounces. So <laughs> it's legit. Here you go. <laughs> I had no idea. So it also comes with a pin case. Like, I don't know why you'd use the pin case when you have this awesome storage box. So the storage box is supposed to make noise when you open it, but I think because it's like three years old, it probably needs like a battery replacement if you can even replace it. Because I remember it scared Mike um, when he first got it. So I wonder if there's a way to get under here. Yeah, we'll look at that in a second. So little Pikachu case. Oh, look, it's like debossed. So that's cool. And this is like... I guess it's like pleather. I don't know. It doesn't feel like real leather. Oh my God. <laughs> look at, I mean, just look at what Lamy does, right? Like this isn't why I love Lamy so much, but it certainly doesn't hurt. The level of detail just going into all of this is, is pretty fantastic, right? They, this was a little much. We didn't need to add the only in Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan only on this tag. Like it's literally everywhere else. Um, what color do you think this ink is? Oh, well, I already showed it to you. It's blue. Shocker. So blue ink, Pikachu box. Like they could just sell these. Like why don't we just sell these for the cartridges? Yet here we are with strawberries and cream, right? So whatever whatever but it, it's really cool to see I think what did we pay um, when these came out they were around 90 or 100 bucks they weren't like for what you see here this is not outrageously expensive I think they were like a hundred dollars maybe less like 90 to 100 thought it was a train no not a train so pokeball pin bag Accessories, fountain pen, pin box, Lamy history, how to do the accessories, how to fill the cartridge. Oh, does it come with a converter? You're lying. This comes with a converter. It might be the greatest set ever created. So little case here, little holder in the back, holder in the front. We have, I don't know, probably some warranty card or something. Certificate of authenticity authenticity so there's that son of a gun there's a converter in here because of course there is like I feel like strawberry and cream was a lazy addition for Lamy and they could have done better yeah that converter looks different is this like a newer model converter they usually don't have this silver mat uh, here it's usually uh, just another plastic piece. So that looks different. Anyway, um, their converter already matched the Pokemon theme, the red theme in there. So that's the current one. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. How can we get this back in here? There we go. So yeah. Wow, huh? That's insanely impressive. It's like every little, it's like detailed to the nth degree. So um, 
I will say the Pokeball is discolored. You can't see it there, but it is a little bit of yellow. Want to explore four months of subbin? Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good day today. They could at least put a little strawberry clip on the attachment. I mean, at a minimum, they could alternate, give alternate clip colors, right? All right, let's see what's under here. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't open this at the time because I would have kept it probably. Even though now I probably am keeping it. All right, so let's see. There's a little light sensor in here. Yeah, it's not working. All right, so let me look under here. Oh, it's not Bork, Bork, Bork. None of us hate the strawberry. We just see op an opportunity missed, right? I think that's that's my argument at least. I love the strawberry. I love the cream even better. I think they had an opportunity to do something more. I'm trying to so there's a little light sensor thing for when you open open the box and it's supposed to make a noise. But I don't see anywhere I can change a battery. Like it's even, I'm assuming this is even like the little speaker for it. So. Yeah, I don't see any door or, ow, way to get into this. So. No more sound. No more sound for Pikachu. There are battery instructions online. That would be great if you can find them. I, I'm, I'm guessing this piece comes off, but it feels really firm and I don't want to break it. Because honestly, the case is the coolest part of this whole thing, right? I mean, every part of this is the coolest part. I'm just not seeing anywhere to, to disattach this. All right. How great is that? So, whoever noticed this sitting on the uh, the back shelf, there you have it. This is what I. This is what needs to happen. Here we go. Here's the display. Is that it, Jackie? Here's the display. This is what we're gonna do. Here's a guy opening the case with the sound. Yeah, I want to make the sound work again. Although what Mike was saying when he got his, it would just randomly go off in the middle of the night. <laughs> so it was freaked him out. Oh, opening the battery part. Cool. Oh. The icebox is too wobbly. Whoa, this is like some Weeble Wobble stuff. It is falling down. I think it's probably because the ice box is uneven or something. Oh man, that was such a good idea. There it goes. There we go. All right, I'll put that back there. So now I need to keep the box. Sman has some competition, uh-oh. And if it's from Pilot, it's probably like 5X the price. All right, let me pull up. All right, there you can see Pikachu in the background. Let me pull up this video so I can save it. And then what is this? Whoa. So, oh. Audio, audio, don't. Uh, okay, I see him replacing the battery. All right, we're going to. Wow, it's a 10 minute video. How can I save this? Save, watch later. All right. Oh, it's, it's uh, time stamped. There you go, I see. Calculator, watch batteries. All right, so here is Pilot. Oh, it's only $27. So what do we got here, Pilot? Oh, it's like a little tray. This seems like a nightmare. It's like, I get it, that's a lot. That is a lot. Patrick, 20 months of subbing, great seeing you in the ATL. You are awesome, thank you for being awesome. Yeah, this looks, uh, Barton by Jim, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Why aren't my alerts coming up? Um, yeah, like, it's cool. 
So we'll, we will definitely get some of these to test out. You like the look of this one? Yeah. It seems like it... There's a lot going on. You have to really work at it. You have to like set it up completely to get the phone in, right? Because you have to like you have to like keep it exposed. Then is it really a pin case? I guess so. If you're gonna move this from desk to desk and put your phone up, you really like the custom seventy four. Nice. That's such a good such a good pin. Doesn't seem as tra travel friendly. Doesn't. Yeah. We will get. I'll get some of these to review. For sure. We'll do some reviews. Like, this is a great review item and a great giveaway item. What's holding the phone up? It's like, it looks like there's a rail on the back of this compartment, right? So, like, this apartment's got, like, a cutout, but it looks like there's a rail, like, the depth of a pen. What website is this from? Jetpins.com. And it looks like there's a little uh, non-skid surface on the back of there too, right? Like a little uh, felt or rubber type of situation. It just seems a, it just seems pretty fragile. But for the price, eh, it's pretty good. We'll see. We will test this out for sure. All right, there's the little, like the little rubber stripper or, or. Um, like velvet fabric there. That pelican is sick. Someone link that pelican. <laughs> Inky love, yeah, I'm with you. I am with you. Hey, there's professional streaming going on in here. We don't need your printer noise while we're trying to be professionals in here. She told me I was number one, chat. She told me I was number one. That's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a little rubber non-skid mat. Cool. We'll pick up some of these. We'll pick up some of these. All right, up next. Alan, are you getting one of these? How much are these going to be? If I was a Pelican person, I mean, I'm a Pelican person just like in style and aesthetic. Oh, here we go. Three hundred and sixty euro. Really? They're going to make me. They're gonna make me get one of these and do something with an Ipsia. Huh. Who had who had 360 euro on the bingo card? I didn't. Oh, how much is it in the US? <laughs> That's at least 700 in the US. What's the 600 comparable to size-wise? Like a Pelican, uh, excuse me, a Sailor Pro Gear standard? Is that fair? Sailor Pro Gear standard? Oh, I was joking. I was joking, but it's at least double. Sounds like you got to buy them from a Dutch store. Does the Dutch store take pre-orders? Like I am so not, like Pelicans are not my thing as much as I love them. 440 euro, so 360 euro. It's probably what around three, three twenty-five. Just shoot Yost a message. I don't understand the pricing. Is that right? I mean, how quick is this gonna sell out, Pelican fans? There will be a zillion of them. Probably don't need to pre-order. I mean, they're gonna sell every single one that they make at that price. Look at that. If I were to try another Pelican, it would actually, uh, I would go with a 600 the next time. And I mean, look, I, I like this. That's a great look. 
I dig it. I dig it. Like, I don't know how, I mean, if you're new here, I rave about Pelican. I think they do special editions as good as anybody. They also manage them well. Like, it's they're not beating us over the head uh, constantly with them. Um, and in this case, they're extremely well-priced. It's just I, I don't get along with Pelican nibs very well. <laughs> I need 10 cents to qualify for free shipping at jet pens. Uh, do the croquis uh, sketchbook that uh, Sarah just reviewed today. It's like five bucks. Like I just don't get on with Pelicans, right? I would be buying it to get a nib modified into something and Dutch store has a nib person. Someone needs to ban strings and pedals. Just trying to spend my money. <laughs> if that was an 800, I might be tempted. That's probably why they did this. Uh, because they've had the Stressman in uh, 800 and 1,000. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's look at another German brand here. We have, uh, I guess I should have kept this up we, so we can look at it online because it's going to be harder for you to see here. Did y'all see this? Like this is, uh, we should do the thing, uh, this is not legal advice or financial advice. <laughs> All right, let me just go by new arrivals here. Y'all can watch while I fumble through the internet. O4A, where are my alerts? Come on. Stressman's also available in four and six sizes? I did not know that. That's cool. Oh, look at these pretty sailors. Do you have one of each? Oh, look, they got those Uniball ones that I... Wow, mm. oh, these launchers worth rotten. I shouldn't have opened this link. I was trying to find this. All right, did y'all see this? Morning, Murdoch. Did y'all see this? So I'll pull it back up. Lamy Fountain Pen Nib Black Finish Cursive. So they're saying... Did they add it to this list? There it is. Uh, you can't really see anything here. So they're saying, allegedly, this nib is designed for writing Chinese and Japanese running script cursive. It creates a similar line to a finer extra fine Lamy nib and its horizontal strokes are slightly wider than its vertical strokes. This also makes it a good nib for writing Arabic, Hebrew, Sanskrit, and other scripts that are traditionally written with wider horizontal strokes and thinner vertical strokes. So I ordered one of these. Let's unbox it. I have no idea what those Pantone looking stickers are, but they look neat. That was the one thing I wanted to stop at the most. <laughs> Rewhistles, you know me well. Like it was just, uh, <laughs> I, I like, what are these Pantone stickers? See why I had some words on that nib in stationary orbit? How did I not hear that? Stationary orbit's in my queue. <laughs> Brad, I'm a bit late. Did you go over Ben Walsh's G2 refillable ballpoint pens? I did not. I don't think I've seen those. Looks like they're trying to mimic a brass calligraphy nib, but it doesn't flex. Yeah. Stationary Cafe? Okay, yeah, okay. That's in my queue. I'm a, I started to listen to that this morning, but I didn't. I ran out of time. So, yeah, that's in my queue. That is in my queue. So, yeah, um, let's unbox and see what this thing is. That was an insta buy for me. Good price. To uh, the price is ridiculous. They're gonna have a. Tr they're gonna have trouble keeping them in stock. I'm surprised Lamy priced them that low. If I'm being honest with you, but when you do the math for a Lamy Safari pen, and saying let's put another, um, let's give you a, a, like a specialty nib that's like really really cheap compared to like buying a full pen then you start getting people asking questions i will not place another jet pens order before my other one arrives i have done that multiple times <laughs> multiple occasions sarah my apologies does this have a zippy thing on it it does not yeah it does that's what these are called on the side of the boxes guys zippy things all right so you guys Oh man, zippy over the tape though doesn't work. You gotta like score the tape. 
over the zippy. There you go. That's how you unzip the boxes. All right. I don't know what else is in here besides this nib and some notebooks. Brad, I was catching on the stream yesterday. I'm remembering correctly. You also have Bacchus Blade Turk. Oh, that's a good question. See, like, we'll have to do, like, some kind of comparison of all this stuff. Um, because the way they feel to me, even though maybe aesthetically they look similar, that pen is nothing like those Naganata Togi nibs I got. It's definitely closer to like uh, a, a variable architects type, type of nib where these are more marker type nibs. Oh, Jet Pen's cartoon. We're going to read that. Yeah, I didn't order much this time. Just a couple things. Because I wanted to get this nib. I knew this nib would sell out immediately on the first uh, first morning. Right, seriously, how are you disappearing in your clothes? I know. I, I, I still need to lose like another 15, 20 pounds. I've been stagnant here for a month or two, but I'm working on it. You know, it's almost bathing suit weather. Just kidding. No one wouldn't hear that on this stream. All right, let's see what kind of cartoon we got here. Well, it also helps that I've been able to buy clothes that fit now. All right, what do we got? Oh, y'all can't see that. Or that. All right. So we have person here doing like, he's over a desk, there's some stationery there and he's like checking it out. Oh, and then he's, oh, is he touching the pen? Oh, he moved the pen. Oh, hey, who moved my pen? I told you she'd notice. That's a good one. Actually, I like that one. I would know if you touched my pen. Like I have, I have a um, pen cup of loaner pens on my desk in the bedroom, and they're all facing the same way. And someone used one and put it in upside down. Like I noticed that immediately. Like that doesn't go unnoticed in this household. Like why would you do that? I I know it because I would never in a million years leave a pen in that situation. So don't touch the pens. Hello, Libby. Thank you for the hydrate. I thought you'd like my monk shirt today, Slumberland Studio. I even put in a monk shirt command because I look like a monk with this hoodie. ASMR. bought drug paraphernalia. Nice. I was wearing out my syringes. What do we got here? This is some new ballpoint pen from somebody I wanted to test. Where's my nib? Does anyone see my nib? Lamy fountain pen nib, black finish cursive. <laughs> All right, the box is empty. not in that sheet. It is not in that sheet. It's not in that sheet. It's not in that sheet. It's not in this trash. It is not in this notebook. 
It is not in this box of notebooks. It is not in this syringe. It is not in this syringe. It is not in this pen. It's in the stream title today, chat. The nib rip emote is especially pertinent today. I'm sad. Is there an order slip? Yeah, it's on the order slip. Quantity one. Bummer. All right. So let me, let me, let me email while I'm thinking about it. I was so excited. Not e Pikachu, can you help me? I was in a good mood, especially when I opened you up this morning. And now I'm just bummed because I had a nib that could have been your friend. We could have put that nib in your pen and you could have lived a long and happy life. But here we are without a nib. Second time, yeah, last time was gold spot. This time, uh, jet pens. So let me pull up my order and shoot them an email. My order has shipped. All right, sorry. I wanted to do that while I was, check the box one more time, all right. Usually they'll tape it in, they'll give them like small items like that, they'll give it like their own little box so you can't see. I will check, I will check everything one more time. But it's not here, not here, not here. This is a self-contained uh, folder or storage for this MD 70th anniversary notebooks. Um, so that's sealed up. This is a separate, uh, what is this, Stayology B5 thing? Is this Stayology? Yeah. Stayology, not there. Can you see in there? It's not in there. not in there and then here's all the packing supply seeing if it could have fallen or something packing materials Let's see if there's anything taped to these extra tape I'm sorry this is this turned into like the very most boring stream ever See, so yeah, I'm putting these up in the light. They are not taped to it or attached to it anywhere. If anywhere, it would be in this one because this one wrapped the whole thing. All right, it's just not in there anywhere. Yeah, it's not here. It is definitely not here. Captain Bummer Pants. All right. All right, so we'll do that maybe next week. <laughs> I 
I know, change the stream title to Bubble Wrap Inspector. All right, let's let's look at what we do have, chat. Um, I have been wearing out my syringes. So I just picked, they had a couple here. So you can use these mostly for inking or for um, cleaning pens. So these are blunt tip syringes, right? So you don't poke yourself um, when you're using them. And they're a little bit uh, narrower diameter. So these look cool. This is just an add-on. Schmevelin, if you hadn't ordered yet, that's a good add-on. Syringes. So I just thrown out a couple of syringes. So I needed to uh, just quick replacement. What are these? I saw these on there. So the oh, so this is a new Pentel. So Pentel makes a ballpoint ink that is in that hybrid ink technology, like the um, Jetstream, like the um, Acrobal. I think it's called the Vicuna. Vicuna is this a Vicuna ink? I could be wrong. I need to look these back up. I got the site up. So these are 0.5, or is this gel? What is this? Maybe that's not ballpoint. It's 0.5, this might be gel. Let me look these up. I bought them because I hadn't seen them before. Have you seen the syringe with the international cartridge attached? Kobeco, I think. It seems like I saw that, I can't remember. Yeah. All right. What's this called? Calm A. That this apparently this pen was a suggestion uh, for me to remain Calm A when my nib didn't show up in my order. The only thing I wanted out of this stupid order. It is a ballpoint. It's 0.5 millimeter, and it is the Vicuña ink. So I was right on all accounts. So uh, 0.5 millimeter ballpoint, and so the Vicuña ink is. Uh, like the Pilot Acrobol and Uniball Jetstream. Did you check the floor around you? I haven't stood up yet, but I don't see any strays. Um, and I don't think it could have gone flying really anywhere. I would have heard it too, because I'm on like a plastic, uh, plastic floor mat. I would have heard or felt if something dropped. So... It's okay. It's just not here. It is gone. <clears throat> Quiet, gentle click mechanism. So it is a front side clicker. It's a little bit weird. Because aesthetically, from a design perspective, you just want to click the whole thing, right? But that you can't click the whole thing. You can't come from the back side of this pin and click it. You have to click the clip. So you have to be in the right position to click it. Um, I'm, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Like it's it's fine, no big deal, but it's like you're giving me a click pin and it's kind of a clip click, but halfway separated from the barrel. It's not a great look either, right? Design, design wise, you're breaking the shape of the pin. Yeah, y'all are with me? Like it, it, that's weird, right? Like I, like, that's problematic. Just make make a, if I'm fine with a clip click, but let me keep the aesthetic. It's a little bit, hey, there's a secret compartment in there. Now, is my nib in there? The nib's not there, let me check the other one. Nope, it's not in there. No nibs were found in the in the building of these pins. Rip. Um, but we'll see, the Vicuña was my least favorite of the hybrid gel, hybrid ballpoint inks, but um, we'll see. I, I don't think I've tried 0.5 in them though, so we'll try these out. I like the barrel. The barrel has a, it's a rubberized texture grip. I don't think you can see this in the camera, but you can see how there is like a two-tone here. This is rubberized, like a, it's got a little bit of a texture and it goes all the way down to the tip right there. So you can see that. One part cool, one part creepy. Because it's rubberized. But yeah, I mean, it's a $2.65 pen. There's a lot I don't like about these, just from a design perspective. I don't like the font, I don't like the name, I don't like the clip knock, but 
if it's a good writer, I'll probably get over it. Um, Stayology B5, is that what we have here? Thin and soft ruled lines, wow. Isn't that how y'all like your lines, everyone? Thin and soft? That's probably Tony's favorite line width or line description, thin and soft lines. This looks like a great giveaway item for today. It's a nice ruled green uh, notebook. It's got your pre-built spine sticker there. Um, and then since they didn't have the uh, the note blocks that I wanted from Midori, I ordered the the A5 set. So I'm going to open this up and see what we got here. Midori 70th anniversary. And these are like an A5 soft cover. Um, um, notebook. Oh wow, like protective, very protective. The packaging's great. I didn't think it, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting just a bunch of loose notebooks. Um, okay, how do we open this? MD Notebook Lite. Y'all know I love the MD Notebooks. Uh, seven colored threads, grid. The grids are color coordinated in the colors of the spine. So we have yellow, brown, red, purple, blue, light blue, and green. All right, let's look at these. Oh, so we have more stickers. It's my nib in there. Nib's not in there. So these have your storage options for the seven notebooks. I like, I really like Midori stuff. So which way is front? That matters to me. Oh, okay, so here's the yellow. It could even be orange with the yellow grid. I like Midori's paper. I like Midori's grid. There is no front or back to these. They're... Uh, Purposefully so, right? So, oh, no, there is a front. This has a cover stamp on it here. So I finally saw it on the second one. So this one is brown, a brown tint. This one is red. It's kind of a dark, almost purpley red. This one is purple, like a lilac. Nice. Nice purple. So they made a bunch of paper goods for their 70th anniversary. Like I said, I was going to get those block pads. Um, so here's the blue one. Here's the light blue one, which is very traditional color, light blue. And then what green? Green. These look great. It's just a really neat, um, neat set of notebooks. Um, this will go in the closet, in the ice box, I should say, um, eventually. Like, I'll probably pick one of these out, either review it myself or give it to someone else to review. But then we'll have several colors to give away. I don't want to do it yet. I want to make sure, like, if I want to review it first, I want to make sure to have the whole set if I need to take pictures, right? Um, what makes these light? Um, I don't think these were light. It was this one that was light. So this one is thin and soft ruled lines. Or maybe what makes these lights is light as the grid. Oh, MD Notebook Light. Okay, I'm sorry. No, no, no. That was my fault, Ink. Therefore, I am. What makes these light is their A5 uh, paper bound, like thin notebooks, right? They're a thin, not, you know, glue bound, stitched. I mean, they're a single stitch, but not a big, bulky notebook. So I think that's just what they mean by the light. So, um, yeah, A5, thin A5 paper bound. All right, let's give away this Stayology. Um, uh, 
uh, notebook here, and then we're going to open up the cards, the index cards that I cannot pronounce uh, next. So let's do this. Let's do a giveaway. And then we'll get these index cards going. All right. All right, this giveaway is open. Type exclamation point raffle to enter. And anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member. You have to be present to win. So uh, you have to say hi, I won in the chat or something to that effect. All right, so let me scooch this stuff and then let me get this other website up. Scooch, 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 scooch. Oh, I got something else to show y'all. So there's the pen attic box for the Opus pen. So that'll be the box, but they're standard, standard internals. Standard internal box. So, so that this was the hey sign off on the on the sleeve. So it's really not much to sign off on, just the logo and orange. So there you go. So we're almost there. Almost there. How long is the process of working with Opus to make a pen take from initial idea to final product? They are one of the fastest I have ever worked with on any project. To do from initial talk to delivery is gonna be four months, five months maybe. Maybe less. They are completely on it. Like, once we started talking and the process started rolling, I had a prototype fast. I signed, yeah, it's really fast. Like, this, it will definitely be six months all in for sure. Um, hopefully in May. How long does retro take? Retro takes just six months on the prototype and production side. So that's before design. So it's retro is more like nine months because it'll take like several months to get a prototype and then like three months for production. Um, and that's pre-design. So just that part, it'll take me the whole time of working with Opus. Opus will be less than six months all in and it might be more like four. So hopefully they're shipping at the end of the month. A Jodo probably a year. A Jodo took a long time. It's a, a Jodo is a very highly involved manufacturing process. Um, so even at my small quantities, it took forever. It took a lot. Yeah. Without the bank stuff. Yeah. I'm not even considering the bank stuff. The second time bank stuff was fine. The first time was a freaking nightmare. All right, let's pick a winner and then we'll Open up these other boxes. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. You have won. I'm required to say your name that way uh, because I podcast with a British person. And that's just the rules. Those are the rules of the show. So, hello, Joe. Um, Got to be a first-time winner because I remember saying, hello, Joe. So, um... Woo, you're there. Okay, so email me, hello at penaddict.com. 
your shipping address and I'll ship it this weekend. Everyone else's stuff I shipped yesterday. So if you're here and have won something recently, um, I have shipped um, your giveaway stuff, except uh, Inkwell Monster. I'm not shipping, shipping your notebook yet. I got to do some some other stuff. Uh, get some other stuff together with yours. So yours is not shipped yet. Anyone who won something did win. All right. Hello, Joe. Um, this ink matches the notebook pretty well. So pretty good, pretty good matchy matchy going on here. No wins this month. Wow. That was cold. I see what you did there, Miss G's. Wow. Wow. I see what you did there. Look, it's a good color, right? It's a good color. Matchy matchy. Did y'all find me any ramen notes on eBay? Y'all had one job, chat. You had one job. All right, let me do this while I grab this next box. No wins this week, dang, y'all are cold. Today, not cool ramen notes like you have, just blocks with square ramen design. It's okay. We can just we just need something fun, or else y'all are just gonna get blank stuff, or just like torn off sheets of paper. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna talk about Foglietto. Forgive my pronunciation. Foglietto accessories today. This is something that Stuart Lennon proprietor of Nero's Notes enabled me to purchase. <laughs> he wrote about them uh, recently and I said, yes, that is for me. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Nero's Notes. So I wanna have this site up so we can talk about what all I have because I'm not even sure what all I have. I just ordered a bunch of stuff. Oh man, they have portable holders. I'd miss those. So they have desk accessories, right? So they have this desk card system um, so we'll kind of go through some of this stuff as I open um, open up the box that I got here. So let me see. So I already opened them up because I, I knew what it was, but I haven't tested them out. Pop-up pup stickies. Let me see that. I could be talking to that. I need those uh, I need those dog pin holders. Oh, that's pretty cool. Corgi butts. Write your message here. You can write the note on the butt. I'm in. All right, fine. Oh, wait. There's cats. There's more. How many are there? There's cats, plants, and dogs. I guess we got to go dogs, right? Especially because you can write on the butts. I mean, who doesn't want to write on dog butts? Fold and stick your note upright. Oh, okay. They're like little cute little deals. Yeah. All right. We'll add that to cart so I don't forget. Very cool. All right, we'll do that. Thank you, Miss G's Crafties. Whose butts? Corgi butts. I can write notes on dog butts. I'm almost out of ramen stickers, so we're gonna do uh, dog butt stickers. Nice. Nice. So I need to get some of those uh, some of those pen holders too that we talked about. Where they're I don't even know who makes those, but they're these funny uh, pen holders where the dog's mouth is like open and you shove the pen in there and it looks kind of terrible, but we're gonna do it anyway. All right. Hey, Brad, do you have and how do you deal with the impulse to use a d different ink and a pen that already has an amount of ink that you don't want to just throw out? Man, that's one of that's harder than like having a notebook stash is like. So the first thing I can tell you, Patrick, is it is OK to not ink up a pen all the way. Half fill your pens going forward. Right half fill them. Saw the instant ramen notes at the container store. Nice. Half fill to begin with, right? And then use them. And when you're done with it, 
and like if you don't like it anymore just dump it like i do that for, i don't like doing it but i will do it half fill hey you don't hey it's this is the hard truth around here patrick you get the hard truth you may not want to hear it you may not want to hear to half fill a converter but i'm just going to give you the cold hard facts these are life facts patrick you can pass these down to your kids half fill your ink converters if if you have that problem right where you want to just stop using an ink um you know or think you might get tired of something or want to test something uh, all that stuff so i'm telling you that's how you got to do it check it out stickers just less than half fill quarter fill i will go half like quarter like a lot of times when i'm testing a quarter is not enough right so i'll do i'll do halves i'm good at halves all right let me uh let's see what all we got we got going here we got all kinds of different stuff here and we're gonna go through so we have storage boxes for this since i bought it and i was buying them from overseas the shipping was going to be expensive so i was going to go ahead and get the storage box now y'all know i've always wanted traditional index storage cards do these fit what size are these i don't do i have any note cards here i don't know why don't because they look smaller than like three by five I fail all right so i have two different storage containers we'll um we'll do that all right, so that's that box, and then I got the cardboard box for it as well. So these are two different storage boxes. The funny thing to me is they shipped this constructed. Like, I thought for sure when I ordered this, it would be shipped deconstructed, flat, right? But maybe since they were shipping me this, the box was always always going to have uh, some volume to it, so maybe this was just a way to fill everything in. So this is the uh, Archivio. Um, some people don't like those on their pizzas, but we use them for storage uh, sometimes. So yeah, so that's the, these are a little bit bigger and longer than the wooden box. So there we go. Thank you. Um, I don't know what this is. So... Stuart sent me some 1857 pencils. This is his now, uh, is defunct too harsh of a word? Should we just say hiatus? Hiatus podcast? Or is it an ended podcast? I don't know. I'll have to yell at, I'll go let Stuart yell at me. So that's his uh, podcast. Had a great, great run. Um, well over 100 episodes. Uh, someone, a ban. Oh, it's a monthly broadcast then that's why I haven't seen it. Thank you. I knew it had changed. Uh, someone ban tests. Ban test or timeout tests. 30 seconds. Timeout. Timeout. So I don't know why this one was this one was cutely wrapped and these are just all in the things. So they switch at the front of the year. Yeah, I knew something changed. All right. Let's see what we got. And we'll keep Nero over here. Keep in watch. Steph, you're going to get timed out too. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. So we have index for your box storage, okay? And then we have, these are called completed, completo, which they are clearly not completoed yet. Um, I will completo them later. But this is all in French. Um, non fiche sont imprimés en France avec des encres végétales sur un papier italien haut de gamme. I don't know how to say 260 grams GSM. Recyclé et recyclable. All right, so basically, veggie tails is what they say. These are veggie tails. Um, they are movie themed or, or or 
show themed. But um, yeah, 120 cards. Um, vegetable ink print, the line prints. Settle down, Sarah. That, if this is painful, you should write about that in one of your horror stories. <laughs> about the guy who cannot pronounce foreign languages. Um, so 260 GSM recyclable paper. That seems really thick, so we'll see. Um, so we have these kind of, this is a task list one, right? So it's uh, gridded out for the task list, blank on the other side. These are full grid, both sides grid. Um, do I have two packs? Oh, okay, so this is task on one side, dot grid on the other side. This is what got me in, in all these uh, in this order was everything was different. And then these are just full blank cards. So I got blank task list dot grid is kind of the situation I have here. Um, so they have eight, so, okay, so these are A7 size. So whatever that dimension is, we can uh, look that up. So let's open up the, uh, no. I was gonna say let's open up the grid, but I'm gonna do one of the task. Oh, that's funny. So this one, these are different. So completo and organizone. Sorry, that was really bad. So this has like a task list front, blank back, okay. This one has a task list with a title header on it, the dot grid back. That is interesting. That seems like a, like a duplication, cannibalization thing. Vegetal ink, so yeah, I don't know the difference. Yeah, I don't know. How much was one pack of cards? So. It's 120 cards. It looks like they're 18 pounds per pack. So let's pick out, so these are the A7 to-do list cards. So that is the, do I even have one called to-do? I don't even have one called to-do. Like I don't even have this set. So 74 millimeters by 107. So they're A7 size, which is cool. I, I appreciate the standards. What do I have? Completo, completo. Oh, okay, so this is, this is really confusing. All right, so completo is Boy, this is com confusing. All right, so let me show you. We're gonna open these up in a second, I promise you. So completo is, this is why it was confusing why I ended up ordering so many. Completo is 20 of each of the following styles. So this is basically just like a mishmash. 20 blue lined, 20 blue dotted, 20 pink blank, 20 pink lined, 20 yellow squared, and 20 yellow to-do list. Okay. Y'all got that? So if I open this one, I kind of have a smattering of all the things. So Completo is like a sampler set of all the things. Okay? So these are a little bit confusing. So 2350 for 120 cards. I mean, it's pretty expensive. Like, those, these are no joke. All right, so that's Completo. Completo is basically your sampler set. And then I have... Quadrato, which I even I think I can get that. These are the grid cards. Those are all grid. Then I have Organization and Spazio. And they have A6 cards, which I don't think they had the A6 cards when I was uh, doing it. Look at these green A6 cards. That's cool. 60 cards. A6 is half the size. So double the dimension, half the size. Nero's Notes is the shop, yes. And just for disclosure purposes, I paid full price for these, full freight. All right, I'm trying to find my other. So squared we got, which one's Spazio? I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out which what I have here. 
This is poutine. It's like the, what the Jawas eat. Uh, that's just to do. That's just to do. These are Ricola. It's when your throat's a little messed up. Okay, Organization. Okay, we have this one. This is 40 yellow to-do list, 40 blue dot grid, and 40 pink plane. Okay, so they confuse you here. <clears throat> How do you use them, plan to use them? We will be going through that momentarily if I can ever get through figuring out what I have. So this is another multi-use pack. So 40 to-do list cards, 40 blue dot grid, and 40 pink plane. All right, so we've sorted all of these out. This is the only one I don't know. Spazio, Spazio. So let me find this one. It's just dot grid, plane. I think it's just this plain one. Go with the flow. Okay. So that's the dot grid ones. I'm sorry, I'm not showing y'all as I'm flipping through this. Um, this is, okay, this is it. So these are just plain. So I just bought a set of plain ones, which is these. Uh, Spazio. Okay. So then the ones I didn't buy were the creative ones, which have squiggly lines on them, which like, like I get, like I enjoyed that the time Baron Fig did it once. I don't need a whole pack of cards with the squiggly on there. I, I, I get it and they're designed well. I like the design. That's cool. I just didn't need that one. And then, yeah, they did it. The go with the flow memo cards, yeah. I don't need, I didn't need a whole pack of squiggly line guys. Okay, let's open these up, sorry. You're like, finally, Brad, come on, come on. All right, so we're gonna do the, um, come on, we're gonna do the completo pack. All right, let's open these up. Please be fountain pen friendly. Did we need a we need a summoning circle? We need a gummy bear summoning circle. Y'all y'all spam some emotes in the chat. Some give me some uh, give me some new emotes, some Toby emotes, and this is gonna be our summoning for them to be fountain pen friendly. Please be fountain pen friendly. Can I tell you? I hate this look. <laughs> <laughs> I despise this logo. <laughs> uh, that's why I can't remember the name of them because I can't read it. Foglietto. That's like really, really try too hard. Really, really try too hard there. All right, we are summoning. We are summoning the fountain pen paper gods to allow these to be fountain pen friendly. At least you can use them. Yeah, true. That's a good thing about the cards, is they don't have to be fountain pen, pen, fountain pen friendly. I just want them to be. New emotes, well worth the wait. I'm glad you like them. Oh look, I got squiggly lines. The heck, it, heck and heck. I didn't want squiggly lines. Oh well. Oh, this is just like literally. Oh my god, this is like. Okay, this is six different styles of cards in this set. All right, again, sampler kit. I guess it's okay. I don't know why I have ruler cards. All right, we're never gonna get these tested. Yes, these are A7. So then we have Squiggly Boy, Dots, Grids, and Tasks. All right, so that's our six, six sets here. I don't, I, I'm not sure why I need this one, but I have ruler here, ruler here. It's like, that's a lot, okay. Long stream, yeah, it's going that way. Blanks, okay. Task list, oh, okay, so that's front and back of the task list page. That's why I, that other part was blank. 
All right, so I have a title on the front of the card and then a continuation onto the back, but with no new fresh title. Makes sense. And then we have Just Grid. Grid, definitely my favorite. And then Dot. All right, so that was one pack. All right, when I need to do some ruling. All right. Let's see. I think let's test out. If you were testing a paper for the first time, we want a wider nib. So we can do Van S. Hemp, which is a Robert Oster ink. We can do the Pilot of Roshizuku. Ito Murasaki. We can do the Faber Castell. We should probably do the Faber Castell Deep Sea. I'm just thinking what I have inked up. Stack nib. We'll test that second. We want to do. We want to do it in moderation first. We want to do something normal first, and then we'll then we'll go to town on it. So I want to go normal first. So let's pick blank, pink. All right, drum roll, please. I think you should put that Cheerio water brush in the elbow. Yeah, it would be a good match. Not absorbent, right? The ink. We'll we'll um, I'll show you all this in this here. So that's good. The ink is not, sorry, I have too much going on in the back here. So the ink doesn't go straight into the card. You can see how it's still wet. That's a good sign for fountain pen friendliness. Although it's, it's bad for dry time, but I think we would rather it work with fountain pens than dry quickly, right? Those two things, that's like the, uh, the unicorn product is dries quickly and good with fountain pens. AZ, so it's not, it's A7, you dingus. This is not Foglia to Arizona. Stupid. Very smooth paper. Really nice to write on. These are going to be good for my needle points, too. Pretty good, right? No feathering. <laughs> I like all the options, but I want a white paper option. I think there is one white paper option. I get you though. So no feathering, right? Obviously not gonna be any bleed through. These are thick cards. You're not gonna see anything. Definitely can use the back side of them. Um, really smooth, really nice to write on. So yeah, really, really good on the standard fountain pen nib and ink test. So let's uh, let's keep going. We'll do needles and we'll do Naganata togies. Um, but yeah, I think there was a there was one white colored card. Yeah, but I agree, I would like a, a white paper background. So let's try this. 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 
medium, extra large, needlepoint, cursive italic. Is that good? All right, seems good. Um, and then I, I, I want to try one with the lines on it too um, to see if the um, there's like that ink displacement, right, when you're writing with a fountain pen ink. And then we'll try some uh, standard pens too. So I wanted to try this one for sure. I can use this in a couple of days. Let me check. So this is a medium nib. So let's see here. So this is a little bit inkier pen. Medium nib, the previous was, this is a medium steel nib. The previous was an extra fine gold nib. These are really smooth. They are really nice to write on. I'm gonna get my needle point on here next. Even shows a little bit of shading characteristics, right? Again, no feathering whatsoever. Really zero fountain pen ink issues, I will say. So good for fountain pens, for sure. So I'm going to give away a sampler set of these once I get done testing here in a minute. Oh, no, this one. So yeah, I'm going to give our, the next giveaway, I'll do like five cards of each of these, each of the sets, something like that. So this is... Yeah, so I mean, so these are a definite recommend for fountain pen friendly note cards. Tiny handwriting, yeah, that's more my normal handwriting than the other the other ones. So the needle isn't really picking. I think I see one of those here. Makes the A7 look like A5, right? So it handles the needle point pretty well. All right, let's look at a, let's do a grid to where I'm going across a bunch of the lines uh, just to see how the print ink is. And we'll try these, these two bigger pins on here. So this is, I'm writing right through the middle of the line on purpose. Just so I can see how the printing, uh, if that matters. Like a lot of, it doesn't matter to me whether there's, you know, the, the ink used for the lines printed on the page, like separate your fountain pen ink. That doesn't bother me, but it does bother some people. <laughs> So 
So I'm just writing right through the middle of the, the line. Isn't there a line between not absorbent and almost ink rejecting? Yeah, I mean, there's some that are, are too much, right? Some of the knock stuff, like depending on the ink, will reject, but it's not like complete rejection. So yeah, I wanna look at this one a little bit closer. This might be my nib. Yeah, the colors are okay, like the ink colors. And this is a darker purple. I want to look at something here. Let me see if my nib might be getting into the page. So there is slight feathering, but I think it's because of the style of nib. Like if you have to get a magnifying glass up to uh, to check the feathering, you know it's okay. But you can see here, because of the edge of my nib is sharp, it does cause a couple runners in the page, but that's because my nib is picking the edge of the letter, right? It's not feathering because of the paper properties, it's feathering because I'm opening up the top layer of the paper, where if you go to a standard rounded nib like these, there's a non-issue, right? Does that make sense? Y'all understand what I'm trying to explain? So the, the pilot is a ground nib where the cursive edges are sharp, right? So it is picking at the paper, which is fine. You can't feel it when you're writing. That's normal. Like that's what's gonna happen on any paper. And these are traditional round nibs and there's no feathering. Make sense? So I would say that's normal expected performance because I can't see it from here. Like if I'm just looking at the card, you can't see that. But I could tell the edges of my E were a little messy. So I was wondering, hey, is this, um, is this spreading a little bit? And it's, it's really not. So you can tell it handles the ink well. And if your nib is gonna break that the top layer of the paper as you go that's a nib thing not a card thing or performance thing makes sense we're on the same page all right here's the um the big naganata togi so we'll put some ink on this one Does Naga Natatogi have a dash between the words or no? Two words or are they connected with like with a dash? What's the correct way? I didn't think I'd look at, like look at these, but I'm intrigued. Yeah, they're thick cards. They're gonna handle They're gonna handle what you can throw at it. So yeah, everywhere I see on two words, so not connected. Okay, thank you. That's what I thought when I looked at it, and then I keep second guessing myself. You can actually see the sheen on this ink. I don't know if you can see it here. It is actually, so this is a Sailor Yamadori ink, and it does have sheen. It's like a teal green. You can see 
I can see the sheen on this, which is pretty good. That means that the ink is not soaking into the card, which means they're very fountain pen friendly. Um, again, just no feathering whatsoever with a lot of ink being thrown down on the page, right? Um, no show, no line rejection, right? No print line rejection. So you can see in the, uh, it's a red, it's kind of a red sheen, but it looks purple because it's the blue and yellow um, making it look purple. But on a white page, it's like a red sheen. But that's why it looks purple. So you can, um, but you, when you see sheen on a page, that means the ink is drying slower, right? The ink is sitting on top of the page. That's how you know a, a pay, paper is fountain pen friendly. If you get sheen, where it's just not soaking into the page and drying quickly, right? You need a longer dry time for sheen. Um, I'd say these are exceptionally fountain pen friendly. Like, that's all you need to see, really. So I was taking it slow at first. So let me test um, some roller balls and some gel and some pencil and ballpoint and stuff like that real quick, and then we'll do a giveaway. And then we'll uh, probably call it a day. What time is it, 11.30? Yeah. Lick test. pass all right what do we have okay so we have hb what do i have that's broad shokarabe if I, that is your real name thank you for the follow we have schmidt rollerball 0.7 rollerball. We have HB graphite. We have 0.38 gel. Do we have? Yep, we have micron. Do we have? Uh, we have the goat. All right, I think that's good. Let's do the swirly, swirly, girly gumdrops, whatever the swirly gumdrop land is called. Um, the blue is darker. I will test some fountain pen inks on the blue. It is a darker page than the, the pink and the yellow, obviously, but I'm wondering how that will mute the fountain pen ink colors, right? Like if you're using black and darker colors, it's going to be fine. But if you're using something like pink or something, it's going to really flatten it out, I think. All right. think this is 0.38 yeah all right all right so this is if the fountain pen inks work this should work but we'll see yeah i think blue is going to be the toughest color to see your fountain pen ink colors Suave, thank you for the follow. All right, so this is that really wet rollerball ink. Let's see here. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I'm not sure everyone appreciates the effort. <laughs> Sometimes it's pretty lacking. Oh, hey Chibi, thank you for uh, letting me know. I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out. I may or may not have just made an account to say. Foglietto have an option to build a customized pack of cards on their own website. What? What? Thank you. Thank you for letting us know. Um, can we get some Toby Cash emotes? <laughs> can we get some Toby Cash emotes for Shokorabe? Because <laughs> they're spending our money. Money is flying out the window once we figured out we can customize these. 
Um, that's why I ordered so many uh, because of the shipping. Like I paid $40 in shipping for this order. And no matter what I ordered, it was going to be $40 in shipping. So I just loaded it up. All right. So yeah, the uh, Schmidt Rollerball, you can see same performance. You expect the same performance. They're liquid water-based inks, right? So you would expect same or similar performance for uh, wet rollerball inks. Um, and then we have a micro gel ink pen. This is a pilot juice. It's really smooth paper, y'all. Like there's no tooth to it or anything when you're writing on them, even with like this micro. Let me go ahead and write all of these down real quick. And this is, uh, thick. Secure Pigma Micron. Pencil's pretty hard to read on here. This is standard HB Tombow Mono 100. Well, it's also, I'm getting the glare of the lights on this graphite. This graphite's hard to read as I'm writing it for y'all, but it's probably okay. Feels good for graphite. Um, do I have a Sharpie in here? I do. So this is where the blue is going to get your get your color killed right here. So this is a red Sharpie and you can tell it kills kills the color pretty easily. Pencils and note cards, soups not mix. Wow. That's a interesting soup. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. So like, I mean, everything's good, right? If it works for fountain pens, as long as it's not an ultra glossy page, it's gonna work for everything. Like a uh, Rhodia is ultra glossy or the Tomoe River 52 is really, really thin. So it's not really always great for like pencils or things like that. Um, pencils are harder to read in person than they are on screen. What do you, advice do you have for learning a letter style like what you're writing? So my, I have specific advice. Um, you find a style that you like online, like videos or just print, and you pick one letter and you repeat it until your hand has that muscle memory for that letter. Then you pick the next letter. And I would do letter legal pad, pad pages of just engineering writing and architectural style writing. Um, my handwriting used to be like as clean as a blueprint, you know, 20 years ago. Now it's just, it's, this is my bad handwriting, like my not trying speed handwriting. But you find one let you find an alphabet that you like. Then you start with one letter because a lot of the shapes, as you start learning the letters in your muscle memory, you use those um, strokes for the other letters, and you just keep going. You just get like a pad and a pen, and just a a a a a a until you can until the a you can write the way you want blindly that's how i do it um so yeah that's how that's how i learned my handwriting so yeah paper wise it's great right like you're not going to see anything on any of these standard standard nibs did this tomoe river successor show up online yet it's supposedly on the 15th so tomorrow 
um, on Etsy, who is, I don't know if they're participating in the, the Etsy, Etsy strike, which maybe they should, like, I'm pro, like, Etsy not raising their prices. Um, these cards are so thick, you can't even see the Sharpie on the back. Right, and nor, I mean, it may be spread a little bit, but what do you want from a Sharpie, Sharpie marker? Just know that when you're changing your handwriting, it can take months or years to get it how you want it. Don't rush the process. That is a fact. It, it's not a quick thing. That's why you do one letter at a time. Don't try to do an entire alphabet or write sentences to try to get them better. You have to do it. You The best way to do it is one letter at a time. All right. So I'm going to hit, uh, let's see. We got this purple ink. Yeah, so this, like I said, this blue is going to kill your ink colors, but that's okay as long as you're using them for something else. So this is that bright purple. It looks black. It looks dark on the yellow, but it looks black on the blue. You can see a little bit of the purple. But it eats it up a little bit. eats up some of that color. All right, anything else y'all want me to test? And I'm going to um, let me scoot these out the way. I'm going to get, uh, get a set of these to um, give away. So how am I going to use these? It's a good question. Um, I'm either going to do like a daily card, like an analog download card like I used to use. Um, or just have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up some kind of project that I can use. And that way I'll set up the, uh, the box with the, um, with the index um, cards here. So I think the pink's the best out of all of them, probably. So I have a little A7 box here. We'll use the We'll use that. Um, I'd say um, highly positive test, right? If we could get more white base cards for us fountain pen users, that'd be great. Um, I do, like Cedrus is saying, I think blue is probably the most challenging to use non-black ink colors with. It's just a darker, it's just a darker uh, card. Whereas the pink and the yellow are perfectly fine for anything. So, um, so let's do like one, two, three, let's do like five cards of each. Box is a strong selling point, yeah. And he, the cardboard box is bigger and like a third of the price too. What's the cap fountain pen you have on the left? So which one? So I have these four was I, I was using. Um, so this is Pilot Custom 823. This is a Narwhal. I don't know the model. Uh, that's an Esterbrook prototype. And that's an Edison uh, Menlo cotton candy. The pins are touching. Ah. When did, where did these cards from? Join after you started. Um, someone throw in the link that I did to, from Nero's notes, please. Someone grab that. I can grab it in just a second. The narwhal one, yeah. So the narwhal one is from Galen Leather. Thank you, Thunder Viking. So this is a specific one, Galen Leather collaboration. Really good pen. Let me take a, a terrible picture for Instagram real quick.
Oh, we gotta get Nero in here. All right, so let's do a giveaway. If you had to pick between the 823 and 74, which would you choose, and how bad would the dissonance headache be? I mean, it's they're not similar pens, right? They're just... I mean, I pick the 823 every time, but that's not really a fair question, right? Because you're not comparing apples to apples. All right, so... I'm sorry, I gotta get my this a little bit cleaned up so I can clear out space. Oh, I'll give y'all the an 1857 pencil and the Nero sticker too. Since Stuart was kind enough to include all that stuff. But I can't get to my keyboard unless I scooch all this stuff out the way. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all, this is what, a 30 pack, 30 pack of cards, five of each of the six designs, uh, the 1857 pencil and the Nero's note sticker for giveaway. And we are almost there, chat. I can almost reach my keyboard. Yes, you're not going to like the answer to that question, Patrick. All right. Let's see here. All right, so this is a Foglietto sampler pack. And let's see. All right, giveaways open, exclamation point raffle. I'll send you a sampler pack of the cards. Um, plus Nero sticker and 1857 pencil. This will be fun to play with. You need your keyboard on a boom arm? I need my whole entire desk on a boom arm. You don't have to be a follower, a member, a subscriber, any of that to win. You don't have to live in the United States. I will ship these worldwide to anyone and everyone who would lo who wins this uh, wins this giveaway. I don't have anything in here to put them in, but I do in the shipping department. All right, cool. All right, what else do we need to do today, chat? Sorry, I'm checking. I hope to live long enough for the world worldwide to disqualify people living on the moon. I'll ship to the moon. We, pre we need to test some, we need to do some pen testing on the moon. Some intergalactic uh, pen testing. Um, what else we got going on? Last stream of the week, allegedly. It is. It, it's never not the last stream of the week. Um, fountain pens work in space. I don't know. Pencils do. Last stream of the week, we got refill coming up this weekend for Penanic members. We got our regular weekend posts. Um, Monday. Yeah, normal week next week, chat. Normal week, chat. Roman Amumi, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Optimus 78, did I see your follow? I must have missed that. My apologies. My alerts are not bing bonging. I don't know why. It's probably because they're turned off. Pencils, it depends on if it's graphite or not, actually. Yeah, oh, really? What is it? Uh, what's, the, what's the difference? Is Monday a holiday in America? Does it involve... Uh, guns or flags if not probably not mm -hmm. 
going to Co Coachella? That should be fun. Graphite dust in space is a fire hazard. Makes sense. Too flammable. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Makes sense, makes sense. Thank you. Yikes, that would be bad. Okay. Let's pick a winner. The winner is... Boo you! Like 50 time winner. Oh, is it Patriots Day? So it, it is about guns and flags. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> oh, Easter? Um, I don't think my kids are off for Easter. Brad lives in the South, right? <laughs> <laughs> like my wife's off work Sunday I don't even know it's for or all I know is there's an 11 o'clock baseball game usually I'm here for it we do have Easter but yeah I wasn't thinking because my, see my kids had spring break last week so that's usually like hey we're not gonna have like an extra day for like the Monday after Easter or something like that you're gonna get us a, a week off around Easter time but there's not like a extra celebratory day afterwards. But I now that you say that, I need to look into that. Boo you, where are you? Third time? Okay. On the way to five. Pretty soon. Um, oh, yeah, Patrick, I need to do that. I keep threatening to do that. It's going to be probably number one. Yeah, I wanted to get through that review, and then I need to go in and update it. I don't see any situation where it's not number one. Um, so we need to, uh, boo you reminds me or by you. I keep, you told me how to pronounce it and I forget. Um, once we get to like double digit winners, like maybe in like a year's time, we're going to have to get a new emote for like a double digit winner while some people are still at zero. Yeah. See, that's what I'm boo you. Okay. I was right the first time. Okay. All right, email me your shipping address, even though I have it several times. We'll have a, uh, we'll have a, <laughs> we're gonna have to have a double, double digit club <laughs> emote. <laughs> you should keep a winner's address book. I purposefully don't keep a winner's address book because even though I technically have all your addresses in my email, I don't want like a file with people's addresses in it. That's the last thing I want to own. So there you go. Little Bear Remedies. I like your name. Thank you for the follow. So yeah, that's why I make you send it because I do not want to log that stuff. Even though I technically have it in, a, in an email search, um, I don't want... I'm not, I don't want to keep a list. And I'm like, I mean, I have tens of thousands of orders from like knock with everyone's address in it. It's like, I, I just don't need, I don't need to keep that. That's so I, I put the onus on you. <laughs> That's my way of avoiding that. <laughs> I know I am not, I haven't been playing destiny that much. I haven't been playing destiny that much. All right, let's go see uh celery man. She's on a, um, She's on. She has her timer paused, and she's going. She discovered uh, Alt Gold Grun. Um, so let's go see what they're up to, and uh, when they're not trying to write the Hobbit. Hey, thank y'all for the stream. Thank y'all for the um, the summoning circle, the emote summoning circle. That's how we got those. Um, that's how those, those that's how, that's how those note cards became fountain pen friendly. Y'all were a part of that. Remember this day, y'all were a part of making those fountain pen, those note cards fountain pen friendly. Uh, no barks today, um, all clear on the borks. So yeah, remember remember the day you were here and made those cards fountain pen friendly. Thank you for that. Oh, <laughs> your prediction. <laughs> oh, quiet boy prediction. I missed it. So your prediction went over my uh, button to hit. For the raid and now I can't raid thanks a lot Thunder Viking go away 
I can't raid. <laughs> the buttons are literally overlapping. Son of a dingus. Oh, let's do it here. All right, bye.